Hey, what's up? My name is Mike Gamble. I am joined by two homies today from the movie The Difference Between Us, premiering in Gothenburg on Saturday the 26th of August. Main man Paul and second main man Craig in the house. How you guys doing? Yeah, good man. Happy to be here. Nice. Yeah, I love it. Is it your first time in Sweden? It is, yeah. First time. How, what's your first impression? Oh, I love it. Absolutely. Are you just saying that because we're recording? You're supposed to say you like Sweden, or uh, is the camera still on? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's honestly such lovely, clean streets, beautiful, beautiful buildings. Clean streets, people, yes. People are amazing. Yeah, yeah chill vibes. It's great. That's yeah. because you're visiting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you learned any Swedish words or phrases yet? <laughs> tuck tuck. Am I saying that right? Tuck tuck. Tuck tuck. Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Which word we get? And Craig? Uh, uh, it's, my, it's, it's my favorite so far. I'm sorry, I never quite caught that. What? It's a. Uh, oh. And that's, that's the O with the two dots oh, over it. Oh, uh, oh, oh, no, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah. Mm. Do you know that's also a word, not just a letter? Yeah, what, what's the, what does it mean? Island. Island. There we go. Island. Yeah, Island. it's a special okay. language. Yeah, it's lovely. It's, it's just sounds. It's, it's better than it, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's better than Danish though. Have you been to Denmark yet? I've been oh, to Denmark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, what do you think of that language? Oh, oh yeah, that was hard. Ow, 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 yeah. ow, 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 really hard. Bro. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's got me stuck a little dance right now, man. Uh, yeah, I work in Denmark often, but we're not going to do that right now because we're in Sweden. So let's talk about the movie a little bit. So it's going to premiere in Gothenburg, Sweden, which is where we are, which is the best place in Sweden. What would you like the audience to get out of the movie? Oh, just really, I want them to sit down, forget about everything else, mm -hmm. watch the difference between us. Know that this was built from the ground up, from filmmakers that just love film, actors that want to tell great stories, and uh, wonderful director that just wants to get this film out there. And we have a wonderful, of course, local Swedish uh, music guy who put together our, our amazing track, The Distance Between Us. So. Nice. So how did you connect with the Swedish gentleman by the name of Axel Olsen, who also goes by Axel Jane of That's the group Jaded Jane? That's the very one, yes. Well, <laughs> Jaded Jane, he, um, I, I actually met him the first time at the premiere ah. that we had back in Glasgow. It was a wonderful time, red carpet and everything. And uh, he is quite a dapper, dapper man. Very, very intellectual. I love chatting <laughs> with him about all things. And yeah, we just got along really well. So well, in fact, that I'm here now in Gothenburg. And Craig? Oh, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for, for like an international audience for the first yeah. time, which, which, which is something I've never actually experienced before. And just because also we had a Scot, mainly predominantly Scottish audience and also some African as well, mm -hmm. uh, uh, audience as well. So I'm really, really excited to see a totally different nationality, see how they respond, whether mm -hmm. they'll laugh in the same place, whether they'll, you know, have an emotional reaction in certain places as the other audience did. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I'm most looking forward to, just watching uh, how they react to things. Interesting. Because also, uh, you said the film was made by uh, writers who like to write film, film filmmakers who like to make film, actors who like to act and stuff. And I think that's one of the best films to watch because it's not only a passion project, it's filled with love and energy. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, how? what was one of the hardest scenes to portray in the film? Or one of the hardest story hardest storylines to portray in the film? For you, that's what Ooh. I have. <laughs> I have a, a ready answer to go for that. Okay. Away. Um, basically, my character, Michael, has something of a mental breakdown in one scene mm -hmm. um, where we had to spend quite a long time getting ready uh, camera wise and setting all the shots up uh, so they told me just go into your own little corner and prepare yourself mentally so I did that I took myself to that sort of dark place I needed to go sort of fuel for the scene and basically after that we go in there was like a tension in the air and Etienne called action we go in I started running on the spot and then I'll march and, and I'll not give anything away in the scene. Yeah. Just that I go a little crazy, a little crazy. And my goodness, it was, it, I'm up high, I'm down low, and I'm on such an energy level, and it just comes crashing down, uh, breaking down into all kinds of uh, different emotions. And that was uh, a challenge, a lot of fun to shoot, but as an actor, really challenging. Wasn't sure at first if I could do it. Right proving it to myself and doing it and just at the end when Etienne finally called cut you could just feel in the 
the room, the tension just <laughs> evaporated. <into Yeah>. the, <laughs> it's like, do we have the shot? We watch it back, and he's like, we got it. So nice. Like, oh. <laughs> All right. So coming from the acting standpoint of crossing that border of also knowing like how far you can go, mm -hmm. were you in the room when it was being shot? Oh yes. What yeah. was your reaction to when it was being shot? I was just uh -huh. I've known I've, no, I've known Paul <laughs> for such a long time and we're, we're we're pals. But yeah, it was the first time I was we just watched him going. Oh yes, Paul. Here we go. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Keep going. Keep going. I was really just rooting for him the whole time because I was I was obviously I I worked on the film in, as part of the crew as well. Mm -hmm. um, I was a producer on the film and also uh, one of the writers in the film too. So I was just sitting there with my headphones on. And just I was I, I kept checking every so often because I was, I was watching Paul getting in, in the zone. I was just going right, okay, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> he's, he's getting there. I can see. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. And, and then and I was like, I just how do we look to him? And went and then and then in action. And, then, yeah. and he went. Oh, it was just great. It was great to watch me. It was great to watch. Nice. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. <laughs> that's that's actually a really good thing versus having a post traumatic experience. <laughs> 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 So, uh, the director's name is Etienne, and how did you get to connect with Etienne on making? Oh, you know what? I actually almost missed the audition. What? I actually, I almost missed it. I completely, it just flew right past me until our great guy, uh, our sound man, mm -hmm. Brian, he gave me a message, said, by the way, I've seen this audition, I think you'd be quite good for it, uh, you should do it, so I got in touch with Etienne and I sent him in fact I sent him the wrong audition I read the thing wrong and I sent him the wrong thing that's so you I sent him the wrong audition and uh, so clearly I was just like oh, oh, oh no I'm not meant for this clearly and then he says no 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 please please send, just send me this and uh, we'll see how it goes so then I sent the correct audition yeah. and uh, I heard back fairly quickly I must say and the I, I didn't actually realise at first the, the size of the part. Michael is an integral part of the script. He's uh, quite a, a main character. Yeah. And so I was expecting maybe a few pages somewhere. I'm like looking through the scripts and I'm like, oh, I need to mark that, mark that, mark that. I've been like, what's, the <laughs> what's going on here? Five pages later, this is all just Michael. What this is what, what's happening here? <laughs> but, so that was how I got to know Etty and we started talking through zoom at first and then mm. we got to meet in person actually on the very first day of filming which was an experience and uh, yeah you know, i think though just one minute conversation with etienne through zoom you can tell the kind of energy yeah. and the kind of character he is and uh, you just want to work with him and i think it's also the opposite that even though you sent the wrong one he could see the type mm. of character mm. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's how I like to tell it anyway, you know. But, you got uh, the job. I got the job. Yeah, let's not think, overthink this. Right. Much, you know. And Craig, how did you connect with them? It's a similar sort of thing. I, I, I saw the audition. You, you, so you missed the audition oh, and no, you sent I, in the wrong... Yeah, well, a bit more organised than Paul. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I, I saw it advertised. I think I was probably one of the first to be cast mm -hmm. in, in the film. And I remember me and I think I had a... Quite a a Zoom chat quite early on in the process because he was saying, I'm still kind of putting the finished touch of the script. Do you want to see a draft of it? Because I mentioned in our first chat that I was a writer as well. And he kind of said, well, I'd like to see your take on it. So he gave me an early draft of the script. And I remember reading it and just going, I get this. I get I get this story. I understand what he's wanting here. I can totally see it in my head. But my, my, my mind immediately started to kind of jump around and go, well, hang on, what if you did that here? What if you changed that around? What if you tweak the dialogue here? And I just went back to him and said, look, I love this. But can I suggest this is this, this, and 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 this testament to the kind of guy that Etienne is because most like a, a ballsy move for, was, for any actor. In, to in, do. in hindsight, I'm, oh yeah, I know, but that's a, that's a testament to the kind of guy Etienne is because a lot of directors or writers are quite precious about their work, mm -hmm. and if an actor who just been you know just been cast in a role in the film came back to me and said, "Look, could you maybe do this here and this there?" But it's the kind of guy he is. He's, he came back and said, "No, I love that." And then he kept asking me more and more questions, and it kind of kind of just gradually evolved the relationship until I, I was I was co-writing on the, the script with him, nice. uh, which, which was fantastic. But yeah, it, he's such as Paul was saying, like there's just an energy about him. Is mm -hmm. it? It's just he's a fantastic guy to be in the room with, and immediately when you're in the room with him, you feel better about yourself, the industry, <laughs> how your life's going. It's just it, it's just great. Yeah, so he's perfect. He pulls you in. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Definitely. So I think he's going to pull you in. I think he's going to pull the audience in with this movie as well. Oh yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Is it heartstrings? Is it mm, mm. where do we go with it? How do oh, is it is it a range? Is it there? Then there? Then there? How we? Oh, I think there's a few things. There's a okay. few topics we're touching on, but also 
you know, some of the more traditional aspects of filmmaking, you know, maybe, maybe a bit of a love story here, mm-hmm. maybe a, mm-hmm. uh, something to do with race over here, mm-hmm. you know, there's quite a lot going on that I think maybe even if it doesn't touch you in one of the areas of mm-hmm. the film, there's quite a broad spectrum of things going on in the difference between us that will pull audience members in. And again, like Craig said, I'm curious to see how, in a different country, see how mm-hmm. that yeah. plays with a, a Swedish audience. Playing on the title, playing on words, because that's what Swedish people like to do. <laughs> the differences between us, will that also help in, in general, in societal differences, in people differences? Is that something that the audience will take away from it, not just the title of the movie, but also something that relates to us? Yeah, no, I, I think for sure. There's um, Michael's character and uh, Junior's uh, main actor mm-hmm. uh, plays the character of Alex. And I think it's quite easy to make an assumption about both of them at mm-hmm. the start. Mm-hmm. Again, I'll not give away. No, give it away. Much, Don't give it away. No, no. But... It's quite easy at the start to make an assumption and then you start learning more about their backgrounds Mm -hmm. and they are quite different and yet also very similar Mm -hmm. and uh, this kind of similarity but the differences actually create tension Tension. Mm -hmm. Uh, and but it's also part of the reason why I think they're drawn together in the first place in certain ways and I think you'll find but by the end that the difference between us is is the, the very apt title for, yeah. for the film mm-hmm. and cool. definitely take away this idea that the differences between us can be a problem but also maybe a big benefit yeah, it's something to be celebrated mm-hmm. right? yeah. yeah for sure okay one more one more question for the two of you <laughs> what is one key word that you want the audience to relate to your specific character in the movie as in how do you, how do you want them to feel about our character however you want them to relate to the character Ooh. Uh-huh. One key word. One key word. Okay, it can be a, it can be a phrase. A phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Not a synopsis, but if you had to give... Uh, I had to write an essay. Maybe, <laughs> if you had to write an essay <laughs> and you had to give the cliff notes, which was just a line. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I would say... Oh, I thought that the <laughs> was it. Oh, <laughs> that, that was another Swedish phrase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I'd have to say it's something along the lines of troubled, but it doesn't define you. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. And, and, which, well, Pete. Mm-hmm. Oh, Pete's a tricky one. <laughs> I really got into detail about him in this interview, but you're going to see him when, when it comes to the film. I think probably the biggest takeaway for me is terror. Ooh. I want them to be scared of me. <laughs> that's, oh. what, that's why I want more than anything. Ooh. Yeah. Let me tell you, on set, <laughs> and there's a couple of scenes where I was getting threatened, you know, yeah. in various ways. Mm-hmm. And, and then we uh, called action. And then we called action. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Exactly. So I lied. I, have do, I, do want, I, do, ooh, I do have one more question. You said you've been friends for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you know before you got there that you were cast in the same movie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I think we discussed it. It was actually, yeah. I recall the conversation exactly because <laughs> what happened was... Um, you were like, oh! We, we were involved in this other project together and we were trying to organise dates mm. uh, mm-hmm. when we were available. And Craig said, I'm not available for these dates. Oh, oh, yeah! That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not available for these dates as well. I was like... All right, you got a movie? Yeah, I got a movie. I'm doing a movie too. Oh, wow, is that funny? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a like a race related drama. Are you doing? That's funny. I'm doing a race related <laughs> drama. That's that's so weird. <laughs> Mine's called the difference between us. So that me too. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have the difference between us. That mm-hmm. sometimes they can be beneficial. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Hope you enjoy Gothenburg, Sweden in the, in the Gothenburg audience in the movie and yeah. that you have a great time here and then come back again. We'll oh, do it we again will. Soon. Thank you. Can't wait to be back already. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>